Hi guys, welcome back to The Crafty Home. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. Today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite deep freezer tips and tricks to help you best utilize your freezer storage. I have had a deep freezer for several years and I have struggled with how to get the best use out of my freezer and how to organize it and remember exactly what's in there, use what's in there, and also be able to fit the most items in there. So I have compiled a list of some things that I personally do and have found that work really well. I hope you can get some useful information from this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first tip I have for you is to create boxes or buy containers that fit into your deep freezer. I personally didn't want to spend the money on containers and it was hard for me to find exactly what would fit in my deep freezer in order to utilize all the space, which my goal was for me to be able to use the entire deep freezer or as much space as I could to store what I wanted because I feel like what's the point of a deep freezer if I'm not using the whole thing. So I personally, just chose to do a free option. I took some boxes that I had gotten from Amazon and I measured my deep freezer, both the width of it and then the length of it as well. And I just got two boxes that would fit well enough in there that they could sit next to each other, but there was also about an inch in the front of the box and an inch in the back of the box so that I could reach in and pull the box up. And me and my son actually did this project together. We created little handles inside the boxes. I'm going to reinforce these with some packing tape so that I don't have to worry about them tearing in the future, but they have held up really, really well. And then we cut the flaps off of the box and then now we have a place to put our stuff. We just stack our stuff in there as high as the top of the box so that we can fit another box in on top of that. And we're utilizing all of the room in the freezer. So that is a really good free option. I know that there's people who do maybe Dollar Tree containers or some sort of plastic containers. They do sell wire containers online, but they're very expensive and it's hard to probably get the most use out of your freezer as far as space. So I found that this worked really well to be able to utilize the whole space of my freezer and it also didn't cost me anything. The second tip I have for you is to, when you buy your stuff, remove it from the boxes and packages. So for example, when I buy frozen pizza and it comes in a box, I will take it out of the box and then on the back of it, I will write the baking directions. That way I don't have to worry about remembering the directions that were on the package, but it also makes the pizza so much smaller of a footprint to be able to fit into my freezer. I do this also when I buy meat I usually buy from Costco, so it's bulk meat. I do take it out of the package because I find that I can store it easier by removing it from the package and it gives me more room in my freezer. That brings me to my third tip, which is to divide your bulk items into portions that you will be using for cooking. So for me and my family, we're a family of four. I usually use somewhere around a pound of meat for a meal. So for example, when I buy stew meat and it comes in around a four and a half pound package, I will usually divide that up into four or five separate Ziploc baggies. And that way, when I take it out of my freezer, I don't have to thaw the whole bulk package. I can thaw one portion and that will be enough for that meal that I am looking to make that evening. The way I then store them brings me to tip number four, which is envelope storage. So the way I store in my actual freezer is when I separate my bulk items out, I flatten them in the Ziploc or the freezer baggie that I am using. And that way I can stack them envelope style inside the boxes that I have created. I do that because it's really the best utilization for the space in my freezer and it's also very easy. It's like a file. I can just flip through and see what I have and what I want to use. 
So this is the best way I have found to be able to store things in my freezer is to store everything as flat as I can. When you store those things though, because you're taking them out of the original container and because you're separating them into portion sizes, you do want to follow tip number five, which is to write the name of each item and the date that you bought them. For me, some of the things that I buy might look the same when they're frozen and it's hard to tell what each thing is. For example, when I buy steaks, I have a certain cut that I like to use for grilling and then I have a certain cut steak that I like to use for other things, for example, when we do steak tacos, and those steaks end up looking the same when they are frozen. So what I do is I write on my freezer bag exactly what kind of cut of steak it is, and then also the date that I bought it. And that also helps me to be able to use the things I bought first, first, so that I'm constantly rotating my stock. Tip number six for the deep freezer is to keep a list of things that you actually keep in your freezer. So I just typed this up on the computer. I stuck it in this cover sheet that has three holes. Normally you would put this in a binder and I just have a little command hook that I stuck on the outside of my freezer and I can hang this right on there. And this just tells me what exactly I usually keep in my freezer. That way I'm able to go through and grocery shop for the things that I might have run out of. So for example, frozen corn, frozen green beans, tilapia, smoked sausage, we keep Cool Whip, mini pizzas, frozen pizzas, those kinds of things. So if I'm looking through my freezer and I can't remember exactly what we've run out of, I can take a look at this list and anything that is missing from the freezer that's on this list, I can put on my grocery list to restock for my freezer. And then tip number seven. Now this is a personal choice for me because I am easily cold and digging around in my deep freeze is not fun for me. I don't like being cold. I hate it when my hands are cold. And even when the things are in boxes, I, I still have to put my fingers on things to touch what it is I'm looking for. So I like to keep a set of winter gloves near my freezer. This way I can rifle through anything in my freezer for as long as I need to without getting cold. This also works really well for me when I am restocking my freezer because I'm moving things around and I might be in there for several minutes to put everything where it needs to go. And this is just a lifesaver for me personally because I really, really, really hate being cold. So it is nice to have a pair of gloves. And I think people forget to do that kind of thing and then they're in uncomfortable rifling through their freezer. For me, it's just a simple thing to keep a pair of gloves on top of my freezer so I can put them on and get anything out or put anything in without freezing my tail off basically when I'm doing it. So that is all I have for deep freezer tips and tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, so there's always new things to see. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Yeah.